This is your project, Mr. Holden. Pardon? This is your project. Yes. How long have you been involved with this project? Oh, I've been, I've been doing all this sort of stuff, environmental work for many years. Wow. And this is a way to produce electricity yeah. at a very low cost? Yes. Yeah. But we don't need the dam anymore. And everything I do is going to be portable. They will take it anywhere. sizes of 1 megawatt to 30 megawatt systems. Uh, this is a 100 kilowatt uh, example. It's totally scalable and um, and it works. And it works just the way Joe said it would. And it has some very unique characteristics within the inside of the turbine. It uses the water a second time. Um, uh, almost every other turbine system just uses the water once. They're either a impulse, reaction, or cross flow system. And um, he's incorporated all three into this system and then put it in a pressurized box. And we're keeping the pressure in there in order to be able to use the water a second time. So we're able to extract more energy out of the same water. Plus the system can be designed in such a way where we extract the water from upstream at a higher elevation, put it into a pipe, run the pipe down the side of the river into one of these units, 
take all the energy out of it, and then we continue to run the water downstream even further to maybe another 500 feet further down the river, and then run it into another one of these, and on and on and on and on, all the way in down the river, so we can take that same water and extract energy out of it multiple times, because it's all based on gravity beams. It's 100% gravity, it's 100% mechanical, there's no electronic parts at all. It's designed for ease of maintenance, all of the things that would require being maintained are on the outside of the turbine. So you don't have to shut the whole thing down. Is this kind of like a mini chip compared to a regular turbine? How much smaller is I, I, I'd see it more as like the iPod compared to a stereo. You know, it's a really small, compact uh, system that can generate a ton of energy. And our 30 megawatt system will be the size of a shipping uh, container. And it'll be a roll-on, roll-off unit. And basically, instead of building a dam, we just need a cement pad just to roll it on. And we're going to make it a plug-and-play unit where all you got to do is hook the pipes in from the, our, uh, from upstream and hook a pipe that discharges back into the river we just want to borrow the water for you know 500 feet or so and and boom we're making electricity in 72 hours well right now we're running on 40 uh, 40 psi so I mean we, we would prefer to be running probably at um, you know ahead of uh, 200 feet plus so we can basically make these for any head um, and water flow uh, situation. If the head is lower but we have a lot of flow, the, the turbine drum will be larger because we're going to put more water through it. If, if the head is high, it uh, doesn't matter what the water flow is, we can make these things really micro, they cost very little, and we can either make a bunch of them and set them up side by side. Um, or we could just put one in and let most of the water just flow through and we can still achieve our goals of whatever it is that we're trying to get in terms of energy output. So it's a, it solves a lot of the problems in the uh, green renewable energy space in our opinion. What do you think is the biggest, best application for this? Um, I, I like front of the river style um, hydro where we're basically we're setting up on the side of rivers. But we had a gentleman uh, flying from Washington, D.C. on Friday with one of the leading experts on water and energy in the nation, Dr. Lon House, whose resume is like 27 pages long, but he's an amazing guy. And he's trying to convince us that if we take this exact same unit with slight modifications, we can replace pressure relief valves in all the water systems around the planet and generate electricity where they're just simply letting that pressure um, you know, go because they need to stabilize their water system. Wherever there's hills in the water system, they basically put pressure relief valves throughout the system. And um, so we basically, uh, he says we can own that entire market and he's calculated in the state of California alone, there's 150 megawatts of potential just with that system for pressure relief valves. Okay. okay. I'm going to turn the system off. Okay.